today's theme is open publishing. So let's have a short introduction um, what open publishing means. Uh, of course, this all is based uh, to the Open Science and Research Initiative in Finnish, it's ATT, Avoin Tiede ja Tutkimus. Uh, and it's um, uh, the Ministry of Education and uh, Culture who has uh, launched this initiative for the promotion of research information availability and creating open science platform uh, in 2014-2017 in and we are already in 2016. And uh, the key objectives of this initiative are that Finland would become one of the leading countries in openness of science and also ensure that the possibilities of open science will be widely utilized in our society. And actually we are discussing these topics today here in, in, in these presentations. Um, and of course, these open science expert trainings are one very important implementation uh, of reaching this objective. Well, what open access means, what it is. Uh, it's very simply, <laughs> open access publishing means free dissemination of scientific information. A scientific pu publication is openly available when both the, the scientific community and the general public have unrestricted access via internet without charges. Uh, one alternative to this open access is parallel publishing. Um, but it's not the same as publishing in open access journals. But in parallel publishing the own institution, for example, universities, uh, can have a digital repository and uh, free of charge, naturally, for, for researchers, scientists working there. Uh, and it also targets to instant dissemination of scientific information. For example, here in all we are uh, altering and developing our, uh, our repository to, to be a digital repository for, for scientific articles. Parallel publishing may face limitations uh, and conditions, and there is a service, Sherpa Romeo, many of you probably know this, uh, where you can check the situation. Another very effective way to, to limit open access by the publisher vendor side is set embargo times, times that they say that you are not allowed to, to publish this article uh, uh, free of charge and, and openly on, on the internet. But the, usually uh, they, they accept that the final draft or this author accepted manuscript is set to the digital repository. And here are the roads of open access. Many of you may have seen this, this picture. Uh, there is this gold, golden open access. Uh, when the article is accepted to an open access journal and the researcher uh, and his her organization pays the article processing charge and then the article is immediately uh, open after the publishing. Then down there there is this green open access the article is accepted to a subscription-based publication and the final draft, the author accepted manuscript of the article is stored in an institutional repository, digital repository. And the article is open either in best cases immediately or after the set embargo period. Then there is uh, this hybrid model. Usually this is concerning the very 
high-ranked scientific journals. And uh, the article is accepted to a subscription-based hybrid publication. Uh, there is a, probably an alternative that no article processing charge is uh, uh, charged. And uh, the final draft can be then stored in an institutional repository. And the article is immediately or after an embargo time uh, open. But then there is also the possibility of double digging from this vendor site. And the uh, article processing charge is taken and the article is open immediately after the publication. What we are doing here in uh, Oulu University, uh, we have a research data policy. Uh, later this afternoon, Sinikka Eskelinen our Director of Strategic Research Services will tell more about this. It's a good link to the uh, workshops later this afternoon. Uh, we are creating uh, open publishing services for researchers uh, at the library. And the library has actively communicated and, and shared information about the open publishing and open data management. And, uh, like mentioned before, we are developing our Yultika, our thesis and dissertation repository to be the, the digital archive of, and, and, and uh, also the parallel publishing media for our scientific articles.